From Toronto, Canada, it's the Ontario Science Center's Redshift Report. The sound of science. The sound of discovery. You are listening to the Ontario Science Center. You are listening to the Ontario Science Center. So should we do our little uh, our little jazz tune? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do this. Kathy, you know that song? Maybe you can sing along with us. <laughs> I don't have a very good singing voice, so. Which, incidentally, <laughs> is um, singing voice is one of the characteristics that lead some birds astray from their partners. Prized by promiscuous birds. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> a more attractive singing voice, so maybe I should keep. So neither of us would be very hot in the bird world. <laughs> no. My singing voice stinks too. So. <laughs> We're going to try this though for you, the Red Chef listeners. The first time. <laughs> A duo performance of monogamy. Monogamy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Monogamy. Do, 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 do. Monogamy. Always a good time here at the Redshift Report. Watch out with your papers. Right. Wrestling your papers. God, if that sucks, you can't put it in. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> we get to see that we get to see the final edit. That's right. It goes on YouTube. Right? I I hope you're editing. I hope one of you is editing. At least two people in this room have to see the final version before okay. it goes live. Act, deal. Deal. Okay. All right. I'll move this down a bit. Okay. Hey, Sarah. Hey, how's it going? It's going really well, and uh, we're going to be talking about monogamy today. I've got that song in my head now, <laughs> monogamy. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> we'll never hear that song the same again from here on in. It's, it's monogamy from here on in, yeah, that's, that's right, for sure. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, it seems like, um, like the idea of monogamy in a monogamous society is something that we... Like society is based on the idea of monogamous kind of family mm -hmm. groupings, but is monogamy really as common or as widespread as we might think it is? Well, it's interesting. It's actually very common and very widespread in the human in the human population around the world. In fact, even in, some, in the majority of polygamous societies, it's been found that up to eighty percent of people living in a society where polygamy has been legalized have actually lived in monogamous or male-female relationships simply because it was easier. So for humans, yes, the majority of our society is based on a monogamous society, and we'll get into different definitions of exactly what that is. But what's really interesting is that zoologists and animal scientists have actually discovered that in the animal kingdom, it's exceedingly rare to find species that are socially monogamous, which means that over their lifetime they only have one partner, and extremely, extremely rare to find species that are sexually sexually monogamous. So they may be socially monogamous, but then of those socially monogamous species, very few are actually sexually monogamous outside of their, or within their relationship. Now, I have to admit I'm, I'm blushing a bit, because just before the, uh, the show, Sarah gave me this amazing Valentine's Day card, which I haven't officially opened yet, but okay. I'm, I'm just going to open it here and see, and, and see what's going on. Sarah, <laughs> you, guys, you guys can't see this, but there is a beautiful termite here. Yes. On my, it says, well, Happy Valentine's Day, Alex, and there's this amazing termite here. I, I'm so flattered. Well, I'm, you know, in fact, bears, you know, these cute teddy bears that everybody gives and receives on Valentine's Day, I mean, this is a terrible symbol of devout love and affection. Bears are in no way monogamous to their, to their mates or to their sweethearts. Termites, however, um, are one of the few species along with black vultures and certain types of fish and, and actually a great number of birds which actually do exhibit monogamous relationships. So I thought that perhaps we should elevate the termite and the black vulture to be our new um, our new mascots on Valentine's Day. What do you think of that? The new Valentine's Day, the plush termite, you know? That's I, right. I think that that, that that could be huge, the plush termite that would go over really well. Yay. <clears throat> oh, our... Do, 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 do. Monogamy. Monogamy. Do, 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 do. You're recording Monogamy. without me. Do, 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 do. No, we're just Here getting he is. started. We're getting some antics put at the beginning. Antics? Ah! Happy oh. Valentine's Day, David. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
The black vulture <laughs> is one of the few true monogamous species, so a symbol of uh, our friendship. There you go. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, if you were a black vulture, it would be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're human. <laughs> Monogamy. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> and hey, don't get too high on yourself, because look what I got. I'm the, ter the termite, eh? Oh, you are. <laughs> yeah. You're a thermite, anyway. So, <laughs> so we're talking about monogamy. <clears throat> okay, now we have to jostle for microphone positions. Oh, you get, she gets the I'll fancy. Take it. <coughs> you get the, what the, what's that one? Why do you get that? That makes my singing voice sound nicer. <clears throat> Sarah's got the sexiest voice, so she gets the coolest mic. <laughs> Oh, she's got notes. I have to riffle my pages. <laughs> I'm riffling. I'm riffling. You've got notes. <laughs> I didn't have time to sit there. David. What? Sensei, you don't need the notes. The show must go on. All Just right. be the science. Be the fact. <laughs> be <coughs> knowledge. Yeah, my throat's going. Be wisdom. I don't know how this is going to work. We just, we just sang a little intro. Mm-hmm. Okay, so on the topic of uh, whether animals are actually monogamous, uh, I've got this quote here by uh, Sienna Miller, and she says, Monogamy is a weird thing to me. It's overrated because, let's face it, we're all f animals. <laughs> we'll beep that out. That's going to be beeped out, though, by yeah. the way. <laughs> we're all bleep bleeping animals? Now, is that, yeah, fair? Yeah. Is, that, is that fair to compare human beings to the animal kingdom that way in their behavior? Sure it is. We're, okay. we're animals. And if you think about it, what's the, what's the whole point of it all? To make more of us. You know, that's what animals do. So you're saying reproductive success. That's the, that's the dominant overriding factor, even for humans. Right. Now, now, the opposite of monogamy, which is polygamy, I guess, if you want to call it, it doesn't necessarily guarantee that that's the best strategy for reproductive success. Because if you look after your young, you may be able to raise more young successfully. The young may, might make it to adulthood. So you are carrying your, on your genes that way. So it's a tricky thing. Um, and there are lots of examples of, of people being secretly polygamous, at least mating-wise, mm -hmm. while maintaining a stable family structure. It's interesting. There was a study out of the UK that uh, looked and did paternity tests, and it found that of, you know, out of every hundred children born, in fact, six were not from the father that it was reported to be. So it's interesting. And, but it, what's really alarming is there haven't really been that many scientific studies using modern paternity tests and genetic testing to see how prevalent actually these, you know, extramarital affairs and, and child production is in society. I've heard the statistic that in a monogamous relationship there's up to 60 or 70 percent sexual infidelity. Now is that in keeping with the rest of the animal world or is that um, you know, is that something quite different from the rest of the animal world? Oh, it's, world? It's, it's not only is it in keeping with the rest of the animal world, it's actually a low estimate. Most animals are not monogamous. As, as a male, uh, hanging around with one female, when you have a chance to mate with somebody else and spread your genetics, your genes around, uh, d doesn't seem like a bad thing. And uh, as a female, while your uh, social pair bond, while your social monogamous partner might be the best provider of natural resources and security, he might not be the best provider of genes or genetics. So you might go outside, again, back to that singing voice, for another, um, for another partner who has the br more brightly colored plumage mm -hmm. or the better singing voice that all equates back down to better genetic selection. If you have a question for the team here at the OSC, don't wait, don't hesitate. Go to www.redshiftnow.ca, click on the Contact Us button, and ask away. Till next time, this is Alex McDonald reminding you to look for magic in unexpected places, but be good to your honey this Valentine's Day. I like that. Nice. That was sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want to be a cute rascal. Good for you. That was brilliant for thinking about that.